Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Drone News Now here at Drone New HQ. As always, my name is Paul and we're gonna be keeping it super spicy because our first news is all about the thing that many of you don't wanna talk about anymore because you're like, let's move on already. Well, it looks like um, Blake Resnick, CEO of Brink, has literally admitted in an article on Forbes that they are behind the DJI drone ban. Can you believe it? Brink Drones is behind the DJI uh, drone ban. I bet Adam Bree right now is like waving his arms in vindication that it wasn't Skydio. All that to be said, <laughs> it's fascinating that they would come out and admit this. Um, you know, I, I'm sure it's gonna drive user engagement. So either way, it's finally come out who has been behind all this and it's really funny. It's almost like an old episode of Scooby-Doo. At least now you know who the culprit is. In our next piece of news, DJI might try to launch two new products before the supposed ban, as the FCC has greenlit their DJI Avada 360, which if it comes in at half the price of the anti-gravity A1, we might be interested in it because that's a really expensive little micro drone. Um, all that to be said, DJI has also leaked a whole new micro drone called the Lido. Lido. Pronounce it however you want to. The issue is, is that it might not come to the United States. This micro drone is being showcased as a whole new subclass, meaning it's below a micro drone. It's lighter, it's smaller, and it's probably got a one inch sensor for all we know. Either way, it might be the very first drone that we don't see here in the United States. And before you say I'm gonna run to Mexico and buy one and bring it back, uh, the United States is gonna be imposing new rules where that might become very illegal and you might get in a whole lot of trouble. So make sure you do your legal research because I am not a lawyer. That being said, uh, we've got some really interesting news as well. Before we move on, one more DJI leak. It's just yet another Ronin. So if you want a brand new RS5, it looks like it will be leaked and you'll be able to get one. That way you can have a slightly bigger battery on your smaller camera, gimbal. That being said, we've got some very interesting uh, news. There, I wanna do like a quick segment, so quick news, here we go. Okay, Luminar, which is a LiDAR manufacturer based out of Texas, has gone bankrupt. Mm, that sucks. And we've got a UUV drone, which has sunk a Russian submarine in Russia. That's right. Ukraine has built underwater drones that sank a Russian sub undetected. That's kind of impressive. MIT has developed a brand new micro drone the size of a fly. What's more important is that they developed code and used AI to make it actually fly like a fly, meaning they're very agile, they're very quick, quick reflexes. So for all of you that don't know how to kill a fly, you move in very, very slowly and then whack. Anyway. Now, one piece of news that's also really interesting is it, we're starting to see a pattern of the domestic market really evolving and growing quickly as we've got two new things here. Autarian, which many of you know, has built and designed flight controllers for many of the American drone or domestic offerings. Um, I'd love to be corrected wrong here, but I believe we're talking about FreeFly uses um, Autarian system, um, I believe Inspired Flight does, Whisper Systems. Uh, a lot of American manufacturers utilize the Autarian system. Well, Autarian has done something that DJI has never done. Think about this. Imagine if you could build a drone or a swarm of drones and fly all of them from the control inputs of just one. Well, though that day is here. In fact, Autarian has now showcased how you can go from zero to swarm in 48 hours utilizing their components, which for many of you, if you don't remember, they're providing 10,000 particular units to Ukraine every single month. Which leads us to a cooler story about building your own drones at home or maybe robots. Many of you know GitHub, and GitHub is a repository to get code, information, that's where the DJI leaks and security issues first came up in 2017. Well now, a new system has been built. Think of it as the GitHub for robots. We're talking about Tinker. Tinker is a whole new way for home builders, people who love to make their own robots. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I've been thinking about making my own excavator because I could save, I don't know, $100,000. But anyway, if I wanted to figure out how to build that, that robot, it wouldn't be very difficult. What would be hard is the software to actually control it. Now, Tinker is supposed to be a repository of all the code necessary to help you design whatever you want your robot to do. The simple things of moving an elbow to the things of digging holes. Here's the issue, is that there are no issues with collaboration and open source. 
So now you'll be able to go to Tinker and get all the code that you need to build the robot of your dreams. Just don't get funky with it. That's gonna do it for us here at Drone UHQ. Thank you everyone for an amazing holiday season. I hope you take flight and capture some amazing panos or capture the memories of your loved ones. Either way, I hope that you enjoy it. As many of us get caught in the hustle and bustle of the holiday season, but don't forget what it's all about, spending time with people you actually care about. So from all of us here at the Drone U HQ, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I'm sure I'll see you next week.